we service low socioeconomic population at about maybe 97%. Uh, we have a very high at risk population and we have about a 67% bilingual population. A lot of our parents don't have the means and, and, and that includes transportation. So we try to find uh, uh, outside agencies to come in and be able to provide our students with the experiences that they normally would not be able to get. My favorite part of the program was when I was able to actually control the drone and to make it fly. The lessons are so engaging. The kids, they don't, um, they don't want to leave. They want to stay. Our program ends at 5.15. They're like, no, we want to stay longer, but we have to tell them your parents are outside. <laughs> like the program's over. Um, so they just, they love it. It's, it's amazing. The students were very, very engaged and uh, uh, they taught me, you know, a, a few things that I didn't you know, that I didn't know. I mean, it's a whole different world out there with technology nowadays. And at this particular time or this particular era, you know, right now the kids seem to know more about technology than the adults do. So uh, they loved it, they love it. It's amazing, it's amazing to see their little faces light up because they get to actually manipulate a drone. And not only um, that, they learn the science behind it. What makes it fly? How do you manipulate it? How do you code it? Um, so all that vocabulary that they're learning, it's just amazing. I learned about how to do tricks with the drones, fly through like these circles, go like around cones. I learned how to move different directions, how to code about like how to code it to move. At first I didn't even know what a drone was. But then until I came to a drone camp, I I got it I got the hang of it. I think other girls in this program helped me learn because we're girls and there was like mostly guys. So girls we like know and like almost the same stuff and guys have their different stuff that they like and would like not be like ew a girl or like ew I don't wanna be with you. And the teams were they were like girls and there was boy teams. Research always shows that uh, boys tend to be stronger in math and, and, and science, you know, but uh, I feel that the fact that we expose the girls and give them that opportunity, you know, they, they, they'll they flourish and they did. I would definitely recommend Nirvana and drone camps to other campuses because it does expose um, students to the field of, of STEM that they wouldn't normally get um, at school. I mean, yes, we do talk about the STEM field, we read about it, we research it, but the fact that you come with a drone and they get to manipulate that, that's just going above and beyond.